Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. Let's have a look how the traditional markets are going to probably close today. We have the last trading day of this week. But first off, let's have a look quickly into an exchange that I came across because currently over on BTCX you can trade not even up to 200x leverage but also on this trading battle that you can see here. You can win $60,000 in this trading battle and next to that also you can be part Part of this uh, $20,000 bonus contest as well. So if you're trading currently with leverage, then do that over on BTCX. If you sign up with the link in the video description, you can get very, very easily a welcome gift of $25 so definitely sign up to BTCX that's a new exchange that I discovered and here of course also you can uh, do copy trades trade with perpetuals and also do spot trading and over on spot trading you can swap your coins without paying any fees so definitely try that out and now if we dive here into the charts you can see that Bitcoin is still hanging around $27,000 if we zoom in here into the lower time frames you can see that we are still at the main support of this uh, ascending triangle that we are forming in the four hour time frame so I'm expecting during this weekend most likely to push higher towards the resistance again at $27,500 and that's mainly because over in the in, in Nasdaq as you can see if we switch over into the daily time frame we are now seeing a little pullback, but we are still above the, the top side of the Kelton channels. But what I like very much is this potential weekly close, uh, which is going to end in about three hours, which most likely will be above the 100 weekly moving average. And that was very, very important for me that we were able to close above the 100 weekly moving average for Nasdaq, because that is a meaning that we most likely going to see continuation to the upside in the next coming weeks. And if we're go now going to have a look also into the US dollar index, you can see that if we zoom in, we are trading slightly above the 20 weekly moving average, but below the median line of the Kelton channels. So even if we would now close above the 20 weekly moving average, so if we're going to close in about uh, a bit less than five hours above the 20 weekly moving average, as long as we don't see immediately continuation to the upside above the median line of the Kelton channels, we still have the chance that by next week we are again trading below the 20 weekly moving average. But of course, tomorrow we're going to update also where this uh, candle closed above the 20 weekly moving average or below. Because also also here you can see that with the last reaction rally we closed always below the 20 weekly moving average and in theory we should have this again here in order to expect here a big rejection and of course continuation to the downside towards 200 weekly moving average for the US dollar index. So I think that latest once the US dollar index is dropping again we're gonna see also that huge pump like we are seeing this over right now over on Nasdaq also for the crypto market that's why as long as at least Nasdaq is pushing to the upside and is having such bullish weekly closes we should expect for Bitcoin and the altcoins, of course, like Ethereum as well and other altcoins, a uh, big continuation to the upside very, very soon. So while Bitcoin is still stuck here right at the 200 weekly moving average and we are still far away from the 100 weekly moving average like we're seeing over on Nasdaq, even a breakout to the upside, I think that it's just a matter of time until Bitcoin is also going to follow. And that's why I'm extremely bullish and that's why make sure to have an account open on every exchange that you find in the video description. If you have to open up several trades, I'm always using several exchanges and this one here BTCX is a new one that I discovered because uh, while you're trading it's also good to be participating on such uh, trading events to get even more gains uh, if you are sitting in profitable uh, trades and of course also get some other benefits so sign up also to BT BTCX uh, with the link in the video description of course I'm using also other exchanges like Bybit, Femex, Bitrue and so on but this one is a new one that I just discovered so that's it already with this update video, my friends. Have a great weekend, have a great Friday night, and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye for now.